Hi there, I wanted to show something new that's coming up in open class and um, it's called the Exchange. They're starting to build a site that has ready-made content that you can easily import into your class, into your open class courses. They actually even have entire courses that you can just import and add students, but let's uh, take it one step at a time. So if you go to the dashboard, I'm in my student account, incidentally. Um, these are all the current courses I'm a teacher or a student of. So I'm playing, playing around with a lot of different things. But if you go down here to the exchange, and it gives you uh, a number of things you can search for. Um, you can see they're connected with TED-Ed and uh, Khan Academy and a number of other uh, different educationally oriented sites. But um, if you want to search for a particular topic, you see you have a, a search bar there, which I'll get to in a second, but you can click on the left here by subject. You can see all the different subjects they have. Um, so English, for example. A number of different results. There really isn't a whole lot of content just yet, um, but it's getting there. You can see that they are, are wanting to build this and, and make this a really uh, useful sort of uh, feature of, of open class. You know, product types, they have entire modules, uh, learning modules. Talking a lot about project-based learning, for example. Uh, entire courses. Let's click off that. There are uh, a number of courses I searched on English. Let me get rid of that. So you can see all the courses that they have. All right, so, so far there are 10 full courses that you can add. Um, you have lots of different types of things here. So videos, you can see the main part of their content is videos. Uh, some textbooks. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but what I'll do is, oh, you can also search by education level, so K-12, higher ed, or career. You can search by the source. So a number of different sources that they are pulling in. Um, all right, anyway, um, what you can do, if you have a particular subject that you're interested in looking for, so I'm just going to choose algebra, let's say, two-step equations. And you just want to see what's in there. All right, so we have a number of different things. Uh, some from Khan Academy, Teacher Tube, and on and on. And you can, let's say you want to preview it. I'm just going to click on it. And it's a video. And then you can preview the video if you wish. Welcome to Mr. Garcia's um, two-step equation problem here. And that may be what you want, which is fine. So you can immediately add it to any of your courses, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I'm going to click Add to the Course, and it gives you a list of the courses that you can add things to. Um, these are only the courses that I'm the teacher of, so I'm going to add to my Algebra 1 course, let's say. We'll see what happens. All right, close that off. Um, so we'll see what happens. I will go from the dashboard. I'll go to my Algebra 1 course and see what happened there. So from the start, uh, this is just a general course when you create a course or a course to create for you. This is sort of the default stuff, but this two-step equations content page is added for me. And there's that video. All right, and you can, you know, modify it if you wish. You can do whatever you want. Um, but it's really easy just to plug things in there if you want. So I'm going to go back to the, the exchange. Let's say I want to go back to two-step equations. And I think maybe this Khan Academy video is also something I would like to add. I'll add it to my course. Close that off. I'm going to head back to Algebra 1. All right, and here's Multi-Step Equations 2. And there's a con video for it. So, you know, from there you can modify it 
Um, I'm going to arrange these a little bit. Maybe I want to put it under a particular page uh, for whatever reason. I want to put it under, you know, course activity reports or some other, you know, content page. All I've got to do is just open it up and press up and press up. So now you see the two-step equations and multi-step equations are indented there. So if I close this off, okay, so those are, you know, menu items if, as you, uh, or content pages underneath course activity reports or something like that. So anyway, if you want to organize, you can. All right. So anyway, that's a pretty easy way of um, adding content if you wish.